You know, it's interesting when I look at this Cowboys team, there aren't a lot of big egos in that locker room. There's a lot of guys, I think, that quietly lead. There's, you know, obviously some dynamic personalities. But when you want to talk about egos, I think of Troy. I think of the big personality of your head coach. I think of your bombastic personality. Well, egos aren't the problem. Bro- How egos did you guys the set the egos the aside hunger. to win? You can diminish the ego. But does it, does it mean I'm, deal, I, I'm, not, I'm dealing with people with diminished ego, but I'm, I'm dealing with people with diminished hunger. You know, my son, when, when, when I told my son, my son, I, I grabbed him one day, and he said, son, what do you want to do? He said, son, I want to play. I want to play in the NFL one day. I said, oh, really? He said, yes. I said, okay, go pack your bags. So you got to get out. He said, what do you mean? I said, I'm going to send you, I sent him this little with my nephew in Florida. You know, and he was around here, breaking records, catching 22, 23 passes in a game. And he was, I come home, man, and he's got girls all out at the pool and they're all up in the room <laughs> at the theater. And, and I'm thinking, you know how hard I ran thinking about one day I'm going to be able to do this and you're doing it now? Like, <laughs> I said, son, it's not about physical skill set. In order to make it at this level, everybody can run, everybody can catch, everybody can jump. You got to match the hunger of the dude across from you. And you can't match his hunger living in this house. He's playing for this house. So you got to go. I kicked him out. I sent him to live with my nephew, right? <laughs> it was when he called, the first time he called, he said, Dad, uh, there, this, 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 I'm staying in this little room. And it has this thing, looks like a TV with this big old box on the back of it. They got a pair of pliers. I can't even turn. I said, yeah. Yeah, now, now you're working. <laughs> and when I go to visit, when I went to visit him, I say, hey, Mike, Mike where, where are all the girls at? You don't have anybody over here. Like, right, you know what I mean? That's how your dad grew up. When people would give me a ride home, I was like, just drop me off on the corner. I'm good. I can make it from here. You would not see that house I grew up in. You would not see that house. And, and, and I think no matter what you have, if you don't have the hunger, That's a wasted gift God has given you.